I mean, Hackney, Hackney, or Hackney, depending on, where you, how, on your pronunciation. Um, my old Sherbet, Sherbet Dab Cab Taxi, is, um, we have to have an annual test, which gives us our license on the back. But in between, we have to have two MOTs, uh, Moto Transport, whatever the Ministry of Transport tests. That's right. I mean, yeah. So I've been to the garage that because I rent my taxi. I don't own it. So I've been to um, my garage. Who there's a garage next door who normally does this sort of work, um, and their machines are broken. So I've come up to. Um, well, I don't know what borough I'm in. I'm a borough. I'm in. Uh, oh, I don't know. I'm in Hackney anyway. I've just got I've got Cambridge Chief Road is just around there. Hackney Road is just a little bit around the corner. I've got Victoria Park to my right. So, um, so I'm going to a little place called Cypress Taxis. I've never been there before. Don't know anything about them, but they're going to be doing my MOT today. Oh, so we'll see how it goes. I'll speak to you in a minute. I think. It's Victoria Park Canal, just behind these buildings here. Um, so while I'm waiting for the cab to get past to finish, um, I'm going to wander down the towpath. Come on, have a look. Part of London you never see. Busy. It's really quite nice. Graffiti. Done tastefully. And again, it's part of London that you don't get to see. It's just up, that's Mayor Street. Very busy area. Trying to get these miles in. People's houses, you know, people will live here. What do you reckon? Do you think someone lives there? I hope so. More barges, narrow boats. We're going to live in. No, I don't know if these are properties or shops or, but these are containers. And then you've got the old fashioned houses with the sash windows and the new blocks surrounding them, pushing the old out and the old gasometers. Don't know if they're in use or not. I wouldn't have thought so, not now. So I've just asked the lady at the gate and the, all those containers are, are businesses. I have to say, some of the graffiti is brilliant. Very talented people. It's like one big canvas. Cool. Well, you can see that helch. That's it's like a cab trade's graveyard. As the cab trade, London taxis are forced further and further down the line towards electrification. <clears throat> um, you're not even allowed to have um, LPG gas anymore. That, that came and that went. Um, these garages will eventually become obsolete. They're running, <clears throat> they're breaking up old cabs to replace their, to, to fix their new ones. Or newer, newer ones, um, <clears throat> 
and they wouldn't be they wouldn't they don't have the facilities or they don't have the they don't have the uh, the equipment to go into um, electric vehicles i mean the electric vehicle across the road there it's nearly three tons in weight and they wouldn't and some of these garages would just wouldn't have the lift you know they wouldn't be able to lift it off the ground all the servicing will have to be done elsewhere you know so they'll lose money so cars really are going to be their their um their staple <clears throat> until you eventually until eventually cars have to be fully electric as well and that's the way things are going over here over here especially in london london is charging away forging away you know right in the front of it all um <clears throat> excuse me you know we have an ultra low emission zone here which is getting bigger and bigger and bigger it used to have a little tiny, tiny core and now it's out of the north and south circular roads and eventually it's going to go out to the m25 <coughs> making the uh so, um, excuse me making the m25 motorway autobahn or, or freeway where well, depending where you are um making it an orbital road which is what it was designed to be it's supposed to go around london <clears throat> and if they had any sense they would have bought land around the major motorways coming in you know the the m20 the m m3 m, m4 um and then the over by the a13 <clears throat> that's a frog on my throat today and bought land and put transport links in you know park and rides like they have around around the country tr bus train tram even um or, or underground you know we could we, they could have crossed london underground several times over um just to stop people driving into town you know given that give them the option but then they didn't do it they haven't done it they haven't got the, that sort of thought process but now all they do is penalise the people that are driving in town that need to drive in town. I think I said the other day, you know, the only people that do drive in a town are, are the people that are lost, people who are really rich, and people that need to be there, people who go to work. Anyway, so <clears throat> my cab's been in, it's been done, just waiting for the certificate now, I hope. Um, he brought it out he said he'd be 10 minutes so well, you know let's see how it goes so i don't think i failed because I, I would imagine he would have told me um but yeah i think it's all all good but yeah these these garages there are fewer and fewer of them now i mean just before covid the garages were given an option to decommission their vehicles so get rid of them in the end and the and the licensing authority would pay them to get rid of them. So they, but the thing is, once they've decommissioned, they can't be used in London anymore. And people, you know, people were getting rid of decent vehicles, their diesel, but de decent vehicles that no one else can use. So you can sell it up north, or down south, or wherever around around the country. If it's if it's worth selling, then you know it's definitely worth doing that. But it's it's made a shortage in London <clears throat> that we just can't get around. We don't cr the, the new vehicles they don't make enough per year. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got no water. Um, they don't make enough vehicles to replace the vehicles that have been. Once they get your twelve year point, you de that's it. You're finished. You can't. You can drive it in London, but you can't drive it as a taxi, and you'll get all the fines that come with it driving you can't drive in bus lanes you can't drive you know you, there are certain places in london that you can drive and only taxis and buses can go <clears throat> um even if you drive them in them you get you get penalized you get you know you get you get a fine in the post you can't drive them so you, you've got to sell it elsewhere if it's worth if it's worth any money and if it's 12 years old how much money do you think you're going to get for it nothing you know so the, the cab trade has been sold a pop by the government powers that be the local authorities tfl transport for london our mayor the mayor of london um taxis in london are not on his scope then he's not interested in taxis never has been 
the, you know, we were part of London's tran transport infrastructure, and he took us from it, took us, took us off it, and we're no longer a part of London's transport infrastructure. So we don't have any joined up. There's, there's no joined up thinking in London. You know, you got amateurs playing it, playing it, running, running games. You know, I have an opinion, and it will rankle a lot of people who. <laughs> Who I, am, who I am friends with. But the Mayor of London should not be a political post. It should be a business post, like they have everywhere else in the world. It shouldn't be a political party because you've got people who can't run their own companies, can't run their own business, who are running London, which is a multi-billion pound business. You know, and it's wrong, you know. A bit, but you'd have to, pay, yeah, you'd have to pay a damn sight more for a real businessman to come in and take it over, and get experts in to come and take over individual parts of of that company. You know, roads and rail and and and, and, and the river. You know, we're using the river more now nowadays. Um, and experts. You know, we've got our, our former deputy mayor was was a Labour MP. She she became. She became deputy mayor for transport, having no experience in transport at all. How can it be right? It just, it's just fundamentally wrong. London needs to be governed by a businessman, not, body, not somebody who's scoring brownie points or wants to be the next leader of the Labour Party. God forbid. I started again. Ramble. I've started on a rant. Anyway, um, yeah, should we just leave it there? Because I'm going on one. Yeah, I think I'll leave it there. I'm just waiting for my test certificate to come out, pass certificate or whatever they call them. And um, once it comes, I'll take a picture. Speak to you soon. You take care. MOT passed. I've just got a little job around the corner. And, uh, and I am... Um, I knew there was a chapter in London, but I didn't know where it was until now. Well, look at that. Hells Angels Motorcycle Club, London. What we do right, no one remembers. What, what we do wrong, no one forgets. Established the 30th of July, 1969. Pretty cool. It's all boarded up. It looks like it's used, but it doesn't look like it's in constant use. Cool. Something I, something I didn't know about. Anyway. Oh yeah, that's the phrase for the day. Hell's Angel. Speak to you soon.